Okay, so um, we left off with this. All right, we dry brush. It's fully painted now. Um, we dry brush it on the cliff. We got that effect. We uh, colored the top. And uh, so now we have to flock it. Okay, so we're gonna just choose our color. Um, I got a whole bunch of various colored flocks in here. But most of my other hills I use it almost like an evergreen, I think, with uh, this one I want to do a, uh, oh, a clover, a really deep kind of green. Um, so let's get this, uh, let's get this finished. This is going to be the last part for this, for this, uh, this mountain. something you can uh, either take your glue and just um, just take your glue and it's just straight from the bottle just put it on and spread it on and then lay down your flock that'll provide a really thick cover um, which means that you really won't have to worry too much about coloring the top um, you could do that or you could mix your water uh, your glue with water which is what I'm gonna do um, I'm really not sure about what kind of ratio you want to use. Like a 50-50, I guess. I don't know. I usually do half-half everything. Um, but maybe maybe actually a 2 to 1 uh, ratio between glue and water because it does water down pretty quick. Um, but anyway, just stick, stir stick in there. You just want it to be all creamy and a little milky white. Um, Now, the flock, basically, I don't buy any flock. I, uh, I never, like, they, they have, you can buy some off Woodland Scenics or whatever, but I make my own. Um, my father, uh, he's a carpenter, you know, and, uh, if I, if I ever need any, I just ask him to, uh, I just hand him a coffee can, I say, can you just, you know, get some sawdust with me? And, uh, he'll bring me home a thing of sawdust, and, uh, I'll, I'll make a video on how to mix flock. It's really simple. It's just sawdust. Um, paint and water, you just mix it together, set it out to dry. Um, one thing is that uh, you want to make sure, I, I never have enough sawdust to soak up all the water. So you want to make sure that you get, um, you want to get, you don't want to get enough sawdust or you want to use uh, uh, um, not a lot of water because uh, I've had flock, you know, I, I'll, con I'll cap it off and you know, I'll, I'll check back on it in a couple of days when I use it and the thing is like molded over and it's disgusting, but um, as long as you keep mixing it up, it'll have been a little while, and we could. Alright, so uh, I'm going to flock this thing now using watered down glue. You just grab a brush, um, just dab it in there, and then just paint it over. Just do this one side. Uh, when you apply it, don't, you know, um, be, be rather liberal with the, uh, with the glue. And, uh, as well, be, be liberal with the flock, too, because, uh, you know, the excess is going to come off. You want to put, you want to put, m you know, more, you want to put more than you want to put less. Because you, you can always, um, you know, get rid of the excess flock. It's going to fall off. But if you, if you put on too little, and then you want to, and you decide you want to, you know, put more glue on, it's going to, you know, mess up the flock that you already have, and it's going to get all over your brush, and, you know, just be a hassle. So, just uh, grab a handful, and get your glue out of the way you want to get in there, and just sprinkle it on. Alright, you can see I... Okay, you can see I put a lot of 
a big handful and I just put whatever I could. It's not even at all. But um, that's all gonna you just let it sit there for that. Just let it sit there for two seconds and uh, you know. You can see I just got flock on my on my brush. So that was a lot of fun that boy. And uh, so you just let it sit there for, you know, a few seconds. And then uh, just tap it off and then it's clean, you know. Okay? And then you just take what you have. And you just uh, throw it back in there. You know? And, uh, yeah. So, um... And that's it's, it's still not all dry. You just let it dry, and then if you, when you use your when you use the thing, and you have you put the game pieces on top of it. Um, more flocks gonna come off, but it's, it's not gonna be a whole lot. And you know, the, just the right amount will fall off. Um, don't blow on it, cause that'll take probably off too much. Just let it just you know let it sit, let it soak the glue in, dump the rest off, and then leave it. And whatever flock comes off in, in the future, uh, it, it won't be uh, tremendous. It'll be fine. It'll look great. All right. So that's about it. I'm gonna flock the, the other two sides, and then um, I'll see what I come up with. And that, that's it. It's finished. Okay. So I finished flocking it, and I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay. So this, this is the top flock, and there's that side, that edge. And there's a little over there that's flocked. Okay. And that's it. It's finished. Um, this is your final piece. Okay, I'm going to post some still pics, I guess. Um, I don't exactly know what else to talk about. I know uh, Mini Wargaming is having a sale soon. February 23rd, I think it starts. I have been resisting the urge to try to go out, uh, to go out and uh, uh, spend money on another game, but I don't know. I might I might end up buying a product just just to try it out and just to paint them up those tyrannids those those, those monster things they look like straight out of the Alien movie those things look vicious I really might end up spending the, the I think it's like a pack of eight of them for like nine dollars I might end up spending twenty percent off so it would come down to like like eight fifty or something so I might spend like just the eight eight bucks and and shipping and just just check them out, see see what it's like. But otherwise, I really I, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid spending more money on, on games and stuff. Um, so it's finished. Uh, I guess uh, just I'm gonna post some slip pictures, and I'm not exactly sure what I want to do for my next project. I really actually wanted to do another one of those buildings, but I couldn't get my hand on um, on any of that foam board. <clears throat> uh, uh, I have to see if they have any at Target or something, which is actually miles away, so I have to take the bus. Um, anyway, so it's finished. Thanks a lot for uh, watching my first episode, and I'll uh, see you as soon as I get an idea for the second one. Should be up shortly.